Simon of Cyrene Hebrew hearkening listening Standard Hebrew Simon, Tiberian Hebrew Simon, Greek, Simon Kyrenaios Simon Kyrenaios was the man compelled by the Romans to carry the cross of Jesus of Nazareth as Jesus was taken to his crucifixion, according to all three synoptic gospels. And as they came out, they found a man of Cyrene, Simon by name, him they compelled to bear his cross. Topic. Background Topic. Cyrene was located in northern Africa in eastern Libya. A Greek city in the province of Cyrenaica, it had a Jewish community where 100,000 Judean Jews had been forced to settle during the reign of Ptolemy Soter BC and was an early center of Christianity. The Cyrenian Jews had a synagogue in Jerusalem, where many went for annual feasts, Simon. S act of carrying the cross, patibulum, for Jesus is the fifth or seventh of the stations of the cross. Some interpret the passage as indicating that Simon was chosen because he may have shown sympathy with Jesus. Others point out that the text itself says nothing, that he had no choice, and that there is no basis to consider the carrying of the cross an act of sympathetic generosity. Mark chapter 15 verse 21 identifies Simon as the father of Alexander and Rufus. Tradition states that they became missionaries. The inclusion of their names may suggest that they were of some standing in the early Christian community at Rome. It has also been suggested that the Rufus in Greek, Rophon or Rophon mentioned by Paul in Romans chapter 16 verse 13 is the son of Simon of Cyrene. Some also link Simon himself with the men of Cyrene who preached the gospel to the Greeks in Acts chapter 11 verse 20. On the other hand, Simon S name alone does not prove he was Jewish, and Alexander and Rufus were both common names and may have referred to others. A burial cave in the Kidron Valley discovered in 1941 by E. L. Sukhanik, belonging to Cyrenian Jews and dating before AD 70, was found to have an ossuary inscribed twice in Greek, Alexander son of Simon. It cannot, however, be certain that this refers to the same person. Cyrene was supposedly the destination of many. Sicari. Lit. Dagger men, who fled the Roman legions at the time of the Jewish revolt, this was later to precipitate further Jewish insurrection in the area in the reign of Hadrian and Trajan. According to the supposed visions of Anne Catherine Emmerich, Simon was a pagan. The Romans recognized he wasn't a Jew by his clothes and then chose him to oblige him to help Jesus carry the cross. <laughs> Figurative meaning Mark chapter 8 verse 34 refers to Jesus saying to the multitude and his disciples, Whoever wants to come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross, and follow me. Significantly, this is in the context of a conversation with Simon Peter, who later goes on to deny Jesus. So since Simon Peter fails to take up his cross, Simon the Cyrene does so instead. The Cyrenes were famous at the time as a sect of hedonistic, atheist philosophers, and as part of a failed military uprising that it, a military messiah rather than a spiritual one. Hence, figuratively, the military messiah and the human philosopher are put on the cross at this time when Simon the Cyrene takes up the cross. Lending further credence to this is the naming of the two sons, Alexander and Rufus. There is no literal reason to mention them, nor are they mentioned elsewhere, despite the traditions alluded to in this article. But the most famous Alexander of the time was Alexander the Great, a symbol of military power. The most famous Rufus was Musonius Rufus who was a pacifist philosopher. According to Origen, Rufus was second only to Socrates in fame. So, figuratively, the worldly offspring of Simon the Cyrene are military power and human philosophy. Mark is saying that neither way is correct and both should be sacrificed on the cross. On a purely literal reading, it is strange that someone should be pressed into service by the Roman guards, that the person's name be recorded here and nowhere else, and that the son's names are recorded again here and nowhere else, and with no narrative reason for doing so. On a figurative reading, Mark reveals great brilliance. It mirrors Simon Peter's failure to deny himself and take up his cross. It demonstrates the gospel's inclusiveness anyone who takes up the cross, regardless of who they are, will be saved, and it shows this with respect to military power and human wisdom. 
Topic: <inaudible> Cyrenian movement. Topic: The Cyrenian or Simon movement in the United Kingdom and Ireland takes its name from Simon of Cyrene. It has as its guiding principle sharing the burden which it uses to explain its approach to providing services to homeless and other disadvantaged groups in society, often using volunteers. Gnostic views According to some Gnostic traditions, Simon of Cyrene, by mistaken identity, suffered the events leading up to the crucifixion, and died on the cross instead of Jesus. This is the story presented in the second treatise of the Great Seth, although it is unclear whether Simon or another actually died on the cross. This is part of a belief held by some Gnostics that Jesus was not of flesh, but only took on the appearance of flesh see also Basilides, Irenaeus, and Swoon hypothesis. Basilides in his Gospel of Basilides is reported by Irenaeus as having taught a docetic doctrine of Christ's Passion. He states the teaching that Christ in Jesus, as a holy divine being, could not suffer bodily pain and did not die on the cross, but that the person crucified was, in fact, Simon of Cyrene. He appeared on earth as a man and performed miracles. Thus he himself did not suffer. Rather, a certain Simon of Cyrene was compelled to carry his cross for him. It was he who was ignorantly and erroneously crucified, being transfigured by him, so that he might be thought to be Jesus. Moreover, Jesus assumed the form of Simon, and stood by laughing at them. Irenaeus, against heresies In popular culture Poet Ridgely Torrance wrote a play about him titled Simon the Cyrenian. A 1920 YWCA production of this play was directed by Dora Cole, sister of composer Bob Cole, and starred Paul Robeson. Sidney Poitier was cast as Simon of Cyrene in The Greatest Story Ever Told that was directed by George Stevens and released in 1965. This can be considered believable due to the fact that the Synoptic Gospels write of an outsider from North Africa who assists Jesus on the Via Dolorosa. On the other end, the contemporary King of Kings has had an African-American soldier in the scene of Jesus' flagellation. The film The Passion of the Christ portrays him as a Jew being forced by the Romans to carry the cross, who at first is unwilling, but as the journey to Mount Calvary continues, shows compassion to Jesus and helps him make it to the top. See also Chapel of Simon of Cyrene Topic References Topic 